Hey y'all, got level here. Just wanted to let you know that I just got done um, finishing a full Twitch overlay pack that I made completely in Photopea. If you don't know what Photopea is, it's basically Photoshop for free online. So I'm gonna show you the different elements and I'm gonna show you how to customize them to make them more yours and also how to add them in OBS Studio, change the colors and all that good stuff. You wanna go to photopea.com, it's written like this and you're gonna click on templates. Then you're gonna go on the search bar up top here and you can type my name to find everything that I have uploaded. So first of all, hey, you have access to all of this completely free. Again, you can customize them directly. This is basically Photoshop but online and free, by the way. So the overlay pack for today is called Flux. You're gonna see two different starting soon screens. That's because I made one on stream yesterday, but it doesn't matter. The first one, we're gonna click on this. We're gonna click again with a couple seconds and there it is, the starting soon screen. You're gonna see the main text here, secondary text that you can turn off if you want to. Up top here, we have a labels bar where if you want to, you can change uh, the icons. And at the bottom, we have some socials with some text that you can obviously customize. All right, when it comes to customizing, how can we do that? If we go to the right side here, this is where your layers list is going to be. You're gonna see the starting soon. You're gonna see the stream will begin shortly. That's the main text that you can find over there. All of those layers are basically the background. If you wanna do some modification, if there's some elements you wanna remove, they're all there. And in order to switch the text, what you need to do is double click on the T. So there's the text, there's the layer name, and then there's the icon next to it. If you click on, double click on this, then you'll be able to type whatever you want, okay? So that's how you basically switch up the text. Then you'll see there are two groups. There's the socials. This is how you turn them on and off if you wanna view them, and the labels bar which is top here. Labels bar, you're gonna see um, the icons. Again, if you wanna switch them out, you can find like PNG images, transparent images on Google images and just drag and drop them in here. Uh, right click, copy image, and then control V here, paste them in here and just uh, do whatever you have to do, okay? And then those are the different shapes. If you wanna change the shapes, that's also fine. You can also double click on those icons and that will actually bring up a color picker. So if you wanna change the colors here, I don't necessarily recommend you doing it here, but it is a possibility, okay? If you wanna go more complex stuff. But the truth is the whole thing is basically one main color. So you can change all of the colors in OBS directly. All right, so that's the starting soon screen. Now, if you're wondering, uh, what if I want a be right back screen? Double click on the T here and just type whatever you wanna type, right? What if I want a stream ending? Boom, there you have it. Once you're done, you go to file, export as PNG, okay? You make sure your quality is at 100% and click save. Then you can save it wherever you want, right? Downloads it and now you have that image. In OBS, you just add it as an image source. There you go, that simple. So let's check out the rest. So again, templates, my name is Barry Allen. And then here we're gonna have a intermission screen. In this case, same thing, you have socials bottom uh, left. I don't, I don't think I showed you about the social. So if you uh, click on the little arrow near the group, you can expand the group, all right? And then you'll have the text, right? Remember how to change the text? Double click on the T. So if we do that, we can uh, basically put our socials. If, let's say you type your name at, and it's something big like that, you can uh, select Make sure you select the text. And then top right here, you should see something that says character, right? If it doesn't show, you can also go to window and then click on character, it will appear. And then from there, you can switch the size, but also make it smaller if your name is huge or something like that. You can also, you can also move it around, but for that, you need the move tool to be selected. It looks like a mouse, that's it, boom. Which means that now, if I go there, I can move it, all right? And again, once you're done, File, export as, PNG, save. You got it. What else do we have? Here we have a camera overlay. This is for the gaming scene. I put the labels bar underneath the camera overlay. I don't think that makes a lot of sense to be fair. <laughs> if your camera overlay is gonna be small, this is probably gonna be way too small for people to be able to read names or for you to even put names in there. So what you can do is either crop it in OBS Studio and you'll be fine. Basically, if you crop it, it'll look like this. Just do that. In OBS Studio, you, you usually hold Alt, click and drag the handles and 
There you go. Boom. You have a normal camera overlay now. There it is. There's not much to really customize here. You have a folder with the camera overlay. You can also just turn this off the labels bar. But now you're wondering, justifiably so, how is your camera going to fit in this when it has a weird shape, right? Cameras are usually rectangles. This is where I introduced this little thing, this little thing right there. You're going to see alpha show and alpha hide if you turn them on and then turn the camera overlay off. Now we have an alpha mask. Basically, this is a black and white image that you can add in OBS Studio and your camera will take that shape. That simple. OK, so you want to export this as a PNG, just the alpha mask like this black and white image. Right. And then separately, without any background, you want to export this. I'll show you a little bit later. OK, we move in, we move in. I'm going to show you the panels right there. So here you have a panel. Just double click on the T as just one layer of text and then Boom, export each panel. You want to turn off the background, remember, before exporting it. And uh, you're pretty much done. Try not to switch, like try not to change the size each panel. It looks awful. Like I made it to make sure that even the bigger words will fit, right? If Instagram can fit, everything else can fit. If you want to change some colors, that could be cool. It can be like, hey, YouTube, I'm going to select this. I'm going to click on the white thing here and maybe the Y will be red. That's the thing you can do. And then boom, file export as PNG and you're done. But since this is going on your Twitch page and not in OBS Studio, what about if you wanted to change the color here? Honestly, easiest way that you can probably do it is by selecting the top layer here, right? The about here, the text. And then at the bottom, you go find adjustment layer, new adjustment layer. OK, click on that and then put hue and saturation. Nice. Now you're going to have this thing here and that's your hue and saturation. All you have to do is play with the hue and it can be whatever color you want. And yes, you can do it for all of them. And finally, I believe we have the banner. Banner doesn't really have anything customizable in it. Just file export as PNG and then you have it right there. Flux banner. If you're watching this in the future, um, they're probably not going to be at the top, but you can scroll. You can scroll. I believe in you. There it is. That's the banner. Again, if you want to change the color, click on the top layer, go to hue saturation, play with the hue. I did that on purpose. I used one single color so that when you switch the color, it's still coherent. OK, and I believe we are done. Of course, everything else here on my Photopea page uh, completely free. You can use them, modify them. We got panels, social media pop ups, uh, YouTube thumbnail, uh, YouTube banners. We got TikTok overlays and that's about it. I almost forgot to record the OBS part. Can you tell that I'm not feeling well? <laughs> so you're in OBS studio and you want to add some images. What do you do? You add, you just add some images. Uh, <laughs> you go to source, you're going to go find image and then click OK, click browse and then find those images wherever you save them. Right. You did file export as PNG. It put them somewhere. You chose where it goes. You do that. You do that. All right. Intermission, for example, check this out. Uh, this is 1080p, but my current canvas is 1440p. That's why it's weird. And then uh, behind it, you can just place your camera, place your camera wherever it needs to go. If you have a uh, chat, you can basically place it on the right side here. OK, now for the filter that I told you about, all you have to do is right click on that image, go to filters, click the plus to add a new filter, go to color correction and then play with the hue shift. Just like that. And it can be whatever color you want. You can also play with the saturation to give it a little boost, especially for colors like uh, red. You might find yourself struggling to hit a proper red. This is like light red. And then you can boom. Bodo, 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 bo, 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 bo. Anyways, so yeah, now you have a red overlay. Oh, I wanted to show the camera overlay. Let's create a new scene. Prop, prop. I'm going to bring in my camera. I have my camera in a separate scene, so I'm going to add it as a scene. Then I'm going to go and add an image again for the camera overlay. There it is. Did I even export the <laughs> it's funny because I didn't export the the alpha. So here I'm going to turn off the camera and then turn those on. Now in OBS Studio on my camera, I can go to filters. I can click plus and I can go. Well, there's multiple ways you can do it, but the, the vanilla OBS way is image mask blend. That's what it's called. Image mask blend. Click OK. And then you're going to have to go find that image. So browse. It's the alpha. Why did I write it like that? Click OK. And boom, your camera is fitting to that shape perfectly. Now you can group them together or just select them both when you're moving them around and all that stuff. And um, yeah, we got it. And that's about it. Uh, you should follow me on Twitch. Check me out on Twitch. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye bye.